Hi, I'm Brant and I'm a researcher here at Turk. I'm going to take you on a quick tour around our new beautiful mural about the seasons and what's going on under the surface of Lake Tahoe. So right here we have Daphnia. And Daphnia live throughout the water column and they are part of the historic food web. They were really good at eating fine particles and algae in the lake. So they were here back when the lake was really, really clear. This is a mysid shrimp. They were put into the lake in order to feed the deep living lake trout. And there's a lake trout way down there near the bottom. The lake trout do eat these shrimp, but the bigger problem with the introduction was that they ended up eating our wonderful daphnia that were good at cleaning up the lake. Okay. So researchers here at Turk study the lake from the surface all the way to the bottom. Divers go down to about 100 feet, which is about the same depth that we find Lahontan cutthroat trout, the native fish to the lake that has just been reintroduced over the last couple of years. As we move from winter into spring, we start to see the spawning fish show up. These are mountain whitefish, and their numbers are not nearly what they were back in the day. Tui chubs also spawn in the lake. They're down near the gravel and the boulders, and they lay their eggs really protected underneath the boulders um, in the shallow water of Lake Tahoe. Now we are getting into later spring and start of summer. Tahoe suckers get a bright red stripe on them. You can see them spawning in the tributary streams, especially Taylor Creek, and some really big ones will spawn where the creeks enter into the lake. In the summer, if you're swimming in the lake and you're around one of the piers, if you look down, you'll probably see schools of Lahontan red side shiners swimming around the pier piles. They're actually using the piers as protective cover from predatory fish that may be coming by to eat them. So speckled bass you can also see in the near shore of Lake Tahoe, and they are one of our native species. They are a really good consumer of the zooplankton that end up in the shallow water. When you are sitting and having your picnic on the shore of Lake Tahoe and you drop your sandwich in the lake, these guys here are gonna clean it up. The crayfish were introduced in 1923 and they're really good scavengers cruising along the bottom of the lake. We have now moved from summer into fall. And in fall, we have kokanee salmon from the lake moving up the streams to spawn. Taylor Creek is a really great place to see them. They are an introduced species, and one way to tell the difference really quickly between introduced fish and native fish is that native fish are going to spawn in the springtime, because that's when our tributary streams have water. Fall spawners are introduced. Typically, Sierra streams don't have a whole lot of water in the fall. The reason they can spawn in Taylor Creek is because there's a dam that allows late season flows to come down and the fish can go up and spawn. Rainbow trout can be found both near shore and out in the middle of the lake. You'll often see them feeding on the surface on terrestrial insects. 